What's up, YouTube? Doing some uh, stuff out in the shop. Thought I'd take you along. Um, I've made the cardinal mistake of content creators all around the world. I made stuff that should have been content that I didn't record because, you know, I'm not very bright. So anyway, oh my gosh, I've got dirt all over my nose. Anyway, whatever. Um, so I've got this little project going on that uh, I've done part of, but I remembered, hey, maybe somebody out there is really bored in their life and would like to see a little bit of this. So... Um, the, 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 the challenge is I've got a bunch of crap. Um, I bet you can relate. So one second. I got a bunch of tall stuff over in the corner and you know, it's, 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 it's useful. I need it. It's, uh, it's supplies, but if you close the door too hard, it all falls over and it sucks. Um, and I got some other pieces over here and, you know, another piece there and eh, stuff like that. And so, uh, so that sucked. And, and um, so then, okay, my dad actually hooked me up with a, uh, a rain barrel and I liked it except for two things. One was honking huge. Um, and the other, my wife wanted it. She actually wanted to use it as a rain barrel. Go figure. Um, so she stole my project, whatever. I'm not bitter. I'm not, I'm not that bitter. Um, but to, to make it up to me, she actually did some research and found some interesting storage solutions. And, uh, what, what she found was a four drawer file cabinet. I'll find the picture somewhere. And, um, it was, you know, painted and put it on the side, drawers taken out and, uh, you put the stuff in it. Uh, that's great, except for I, I don't want to take up that much room. So the idea was, Hey, let's get a two drawer file cabinet. So check it out. Here's the two drawer file cabinet. And uh, you can see everybody does some work to it. Um, so the idea is uh, it was, okay, so this direction, like sticking stuff in this way, we laid it on its back, it wouldn't be tall enough for what I had in mind. And so that's no good. Um, you know, shorter than that, I can stick it on a shelf and I'll be fine. So what I did was, ha <laughs> ha you know, while not taking video, of course, I took these guys off. I took the backs of the drawers off. And um, how I did that was basically take a chisel, yes, a wood chisel, uh, to the uh, the spot welds. And yes, every woodworker out there is cursing me, but it was already a crappy um, chisel that's already busted up, and you know whatever. I, we're, we're not. Uh, I'm not too worried about the the welfare of that chisel. So boom, did that, and then welded the fronts on. Now. You'll notice the first welds I did, oh my gosh, burned through like a champ, um, even on the lowest setting on my uh, welder. So what I found is, uh, hey, if you stitch um, up both sides, because there's a little bit of a gap here, so you kind of stitch um, each side. So I should have taken video, but I can, I, I can um, um, replicate it here. You go zzz, 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 zzz. You just keep on doing that, and um, it makes it so you know not too much heat gets in there, and doesn't burn through. Uh, so of course I learned that by the last weld. Um, that would have been handier much earlier on. Number one rule of shop organization: put it on casters. Everything should be mobile. Everything. There is no exception to this. Rule. Okay, there's probably exceptions, but anyway. Um, so so I've already cut out the uh, the wood. And um, the wood is the same shape as the bottom of the, uh, the cabinet, unsurprisingly. Here we go. Um, so I have cut this mirror jammer out. And because I am a hoarding maniac, uh, it turned out that I had a set of casters. Oh, look at this, in this beautiful clear container. Isn't that just lovely? So, uh, and I've even got screws for it because I hoarded those too. Yay, hoarding! Um, so I'm going to pre-drill, uh, this guy, install these guys, and we'll have a base. All right, so tip number one of this whole thing is hoard. Hoard everything. No, not everything. Um, so, okay, so I, I struggle with hoarding because, um, I like having stuff on, I, I hate throwing away stuff because as soon as you throw it away, you realize you, you could have used it. Um, and variable. You can hold on to something for 10 years and you know how the story ends. Um, year 10, you get rid of it. Well, 10 years in one day is when you realize, oh, I can use it for this. Um, but anyway, uh, the great thing is um, we got this horrible cabinet online um, and it had, uh, you know, through one of the sale groups and it had these casters on it. And I'm like, you know, one day these casters are going to come in handy. 
So there, there needs to be balance in hoarding, but um, it's, it's, it's these cases when it works out that, that makes you really want to hoard everything. But anyway, um, hoard according to your limits and, and all that stuff. So this is gonna be crazy simple. Basically you need to uh, pre-drill some holes, uh, screw these member jammers in and go from there. Okay, so pro tip. Um, uh, I learned this uh, eons ago from my dad. Um, here, let me, let me get down into the front. There we go. So um, when you're screwing things together, uh, fastening things together with multiple fasteners, you leave those screws slash fasteners uh, snug but not tight until they're all in. Uh, remember that, pretty much anything you do, um, whether it's putting casters on or uh, putting some big complicated what, whatever together. Here we go. Yeah. All right, so even though this is shot for interior, I want it to look decent. So uh, I'm going to shoot the uh, the exposed part of the wood, the, the, you know, the wood that we all see, you know, the exposed, you know what exposed means. Um, so that uh, is black, so it kind of pops a little bit and uh, ties in with the, uh, the color of the caster wheels and whatever. I'm just gonna spray it black. All right, so I thought about screwing this thing. Um, okay, hold on, hold on, take a step back. I wanted to, to attach the bottom wood thing uh, to the bottom of the filing cabinet. I had first thought about screwing through the bottom of the cabinet and uh, into the wood, but I have a dearth of short screws. Um, plus it's a kind of pain to reach in, you know, all the way. I don't wanna, I'm, I'm lazy. Wow, my nose really is dirty. Anyway, whatever. Um, so, uh, so I happen to have <laughs> some epoxy. So when in doubt, epoxy it out. Um, so there it is. Um, product done. Like, uh, check it out. It's on there. Um, it's curing. Um, you notice I kind of, I, I, what's the right word? I, I moved it around a little bit. I slid it around a little bit um, to make sure we got some good adhesion, um, hopefully good adhesion. And uh, it's five minutes set, but five minutes just means, you know, basically that's your working time. And um, it's gonna take four hours for that to fully cure. So I'm gonna leave this mammer jammer here for at least four hours, um, and then I can put stuff in it. Ha! So here it is, pretty straightforward. You stick stuff in that top, bam! It's got rollers, so you can scoot it around. And uh, I even threw a block of wood in there just so that, uh, and a six by six, so that I could uh, put in shorter stuff um, and not have it like down below the lip. So anyway, uh, that, that was pretty straightforward. <laughs>